All right, let's see what Goodwill's got. Our snow mermaid still looking pretty good. Getting a little droopy, but that happens to the best of us. Went to Goodwill. I was looking at those snow tubes. You can tell they were from Target. They're sealed in their plastic bag inside the box. I picked up, they had four on the shelf there, and then I went over to the carts where they were putting out the stuff. They had like 10 more. So I bought them all. <laughs> so I have a trunk full of sleds. They're all either a reindeer, a fox, or a penguin. There's the penguin. That's not a penguin. That's a penguin. All right, we kept one reindeer. They were $4 each. So about $60 with tax. I'm hoping just maybe 10, 12 each and we'll more than double our money there. We've got a great sledding hill right down the street from us. So I may just take them down there our next good snowy day and uh, set up a little sled stand. Get the kids who are fighting over sleds and all that. It'll work out perfect. <laughs> All right, also, I had a pretty good trip there. This is the Rock, 1998, $4. There it is. Should, should be able to get 30, 35 for him. Got trouble, brand new and sealed. May keep that one. I've played more board games in the last year than I have my whole life. But. And then this Disney Junior Tots Friends figure set. It's kind of messed up. I don't know if there's a top to this or what, but it's kind of taped back together. But all these guys are in here. And it, this sells for about $20, $30. I paid five. So should be able to get at least 20 out of that. So that was pretty cool. Paid 10 for this, a Mini Cooper Chase. This is from 2007. You can see a little Kmart tag. Star Wars Operation, it was two bucks, went for that. I kind of like these. This one is not sealed, but everything was in there. I see Operation all the time and it's always missing those little pieces. So the good thing about this though is we can play it for a while and then sell it. Racetrack, there was, I only saw one sold and it was from the United Kingdom and it was like crazy price. So this is cool. I did recently, it's inside. I bought a NASCAR track and the cars are kind of messed up. It's the little copper pieces, they're not connecting. And I paid $15 for it, but I looked it up you can sell the controllers, pieces of track, um, all the little accessories. 
And I see other people do this, I've never done it, but I'm gonna part that out. I paid $15 for it, but I would make more parting it out than I would uh, returning it or selling it kind of working. So I never part things out, but I'm gonna try it this time and I think it's gonna work out well. This was a good find. I paid $15 for this guy, this big King Kong. It's pretty new, I think it's 2018. Only bad part, there's a little action figure guy that should be right there. And he's not. It is brand new though, you see him strapped in there. But this guy's selling for like 80 to 100 brand new. And I think even without that guy, I mean, it wouldn't be a great collector's piece, but a kid who just wants to play with King Kong, he doesn't care about this guy anyway. So I think I'm gonna still ask 50, $60 for that. So another great pickup. Right. Here's one of these sleds. We're keeping one for ourselves, the reindeer. I started blowing it up, but <laughs> it takes a lot of work. And here is that NASCAR track. So lots of things I can part out. That's what it looks like there. So make some money off of that. And here's the rest of that haul I want to show you. So more sleds, got this ceramic Starbucks, 99 cents. Gonna ask about 15 for that. Here's a vintage Curious George astronaut. There's a sold for 30. There's two listed, one for 45, one for 35. Paid $4, so nice profit there. Nope, nope it's okay. Honey, I'm trying to make a video. Shh. Hey, I'm trying to make a video. It's just a bus. And last thing all these little packs. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. These are all for different kind of different kinds of camcorders or video recorders or whatever. So $16 into this. I have all these listed already. I'm working on these. This is over $200 for the videotapes. And I have 16 into it. Crazy. Finish that video up. I spent roughly about $100 and I actually did that in two trips on the same day. I went in the morning, I thought about those sleds and I thought, man, that's a good idea. And then I went back in the afternoon, they had more stuff. So that's why I'm unsure of exactly how much I spent. But it was about 100 and we're looking at 500 in sales minimum. Yeah, I think I'll just wrap this up now. I need to list those things and make the money now. Anybody needs a sled, you know where to get them. <laughs>